Um, this is going to be an informative um, little video to show you exactly how little I know about makeup brushes. Hopefully it'll be useful um, in that you will now know exactly what they're not supposed to be used for. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, the first brush that I'd like to talk to you about is one that I've had in my collection for mm, a year or so. Look at this big brute. And watch how professional I am now. Look at that baby. It's huge. Um, so, the only thing that I've ever done with this particular brush is go that's it um i am sure that it probably has more uses than just going um but i don't know them i did think oh you can just like dip it in some powder and put some on but I'm afraid it's so huge that I can't think which powder you would dip it in um, unless you had a really massive head maybe like Frank Sidebottom and if you're watching and you don't know who Frank Sidebottom is look him up because he's a Mancunian hero okay so that's brush number one and we're back with brush number two look at this little cutie you can't even see it can you there you go look at that now i've got my bessie mate jodie whittaker doctor who to help me out with this one hey jodie she said hey everybody um what do you think this particular makeup brush might be for because as far as i can see um, the only thing it'd be useful for is for somebody your size to keep cool. You know, like just panning you down. So, um, I have no idea what this little brush is for either. Um, it looks like either you could use it on a very tiny drum set for doing like those things, I think, or going shh. Something like that, but only on a tiny drum set because it's tiny. Um, or cooling down very small people like Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who here. Or, or, no, I haven't got anything else. I have no idea. Are you still here? You want more info on what brushes are for? Right, this one is one of my favourites. Um, again, when I first got this brush, I was particularly discombobulated because I had no idea what to do with it. Um, so I think that I'm just going to tell you what I would use it for personally um, and hope that that's useful to you all. So this one, if you notice, has a kind of pointy end. So I'd use it for pointing at people who get on my nerves and luckily there's another end at the back with a brush on so you can brush them away I think that's a perfect use of it there's more <laughs> okay this one check this monster out yet another brush in my makeup collection that I have never used because I actually think it's for skirting board and um, yes dust along the skirting board with this brush and it goes in all the skirting boards little nooks and crannies so that's the skirting board brush thank you then there's this one I've never used this one either. Um, it's got like a little comb on one end, so, and um, like a brushy bit on the other. Um, I imagine it's probably for eyebrows. I'm not that stupid, but at the same time, I do think that my little friend here, Cowboy Sam Elliott, 
might really love this brush you know for his his ample moustache so you use one end to brush it straight yeah and the other end is probably for brushing um crumbs when you've had biscuits um so that's the sam elliott moustache brush thank you and finally for today's tutorial on brushes i've never used and don't know what the heck they're for this one it's got like a flat bit it's flat look it's very flat so i can only think that this might be for those people in your life that are just a little bit two-dimensional and um, so i think that that is a two-dimensional makeup brush for those people who are feeling a little bit flat <laughs> oh i make myself laugh i don't care about you guys anyway i really hope that my brushes that i have never used and don't know what they're for tutorial has been helpful for you all have a lovely friday and see you next time bye